In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use a new feature for subscribers of 365, which allows you to blur the faces of individuals on a video clip automatically. Let's see how it works and what its strengths and weaknesses may be. I have this clip. It's basically folks around a conference table, and we'll see how it does in blurring faces. So I'm going to go to my effects area at the very top and then click on the new one called Face Blur. That gives me two options. One's a mosaic blur. The other is a Gaussian blur. We're going to try out each of them. So to take the blur, I can simply click on it and it will apply it in a preview form to the screen. The first time you use it, it will take some time because it will have to download the appropriate code. So let's apply this to the clip. I'm going to drag it down and drop it right on top of my clip. And again, there would be some rendering time. I've already applied it, so that's not in effect in my particular case. But you see what the blur looks like, and it does a decent job of covering all the faces. Now, when we move into the clip and have someone come in from the side, you notice in the first frames, before it detects the face, you will not see a blur. But once it determines there's a face involved, it will go ahead and do the blur. So it's best used when you don't have people slowly come in from the left side or the right side of the screen. Now let's see what we can do with it. You notice I have the icon here that says that the effect is applied. I'll click on that and click on Face Mosaic. When I do that, in the left panel, I'm going to see this area here that shows the faces it thought it detected. Now, when I have this on the screen, I can, I'll can i have to enlarge it because it actually found more faces. It found six, and I actually have seven people at the table. If I uncheck a face, it automatically will remove the blur. And I'm going to uncheck this one here. Interestingly enough, this face looks like the gal wearing the white, but it actually affected the gal on the very end. Now, if I want to change the size of the tiles in the blur, I can drag to the right and you notice they get huge, or to the left and they get much smaller and obscure only a little bit of the face. So if I want something that's just slightly unnatural, I'll use that option. To remove that from the entire clip, you click on the garbage can on the left side and it will remove it completely from your clip. Let's see how it works with the Gaussian Blur. I can simply click on it and it will emulate it on all the faces it detects. I'll drag it down again and drop it on my video clip. Once I, it's on the video clip, I can again click on the effect and click on Gaussian Blur. And I have another slider, but it's slightly different. This is a slider simply for strength. And so I can control the level of the blur and once again, you notice if, if they come in on the screen, there's a bit of time before it identifies the face. And we'll just blur it out a little more here. We'll take the speaker out again like we did before. Let's see if we can take this gal out here, which one that will do. No, it's not her. There it is. There's the one that's looking for. Okay, so we can selectively blur and unblur individuals in this particular case. This works best, I would assume, again, if you have people who don't go on or off the screen in the shot, and especially for children, which is very popular today, uh, we can blur out their identities pretty quickly using this tool in PowerDirector 365.